first character that we meet in the show is Rafiki. And uh, the first sound you'll hear is this cry across the savanna announcing that the, the king is born. She really became an important person in expanding and bringing something major to this, to this piece that's not in the animated cartoon. He's a very funny character, but he does not have the spirituality that the Rafiki now has. Not only was, was a great role created for a woman, but a woman that's both spiritual, soulful, and humorous. She is in South African terms what's called a Sangoma, and a Sangoma is able to heal and is able to, to guide spiritually for the community. In the community, they're the ones who help people to realize that the, even when someone died in the family, you don't forget about the person. She needs to be there, and she needs to be this spiritual woman, this Sangoma, the real Sangoma. Zazu is the King Mufasa's uh, major domo. He's the assistant to the king. His job is to keep the king informed of what's going on in the kingdom and to make sure protocol is followed from the elephants down to the moles and everything. He tries to keep everything in order. He can make the king laugh. He can, you know, give the king great insight. And yet he's this tiny little bird. He's the one who's able to give him advice on his son and on how to handle situations that no one else can do. When the kids are running around, he's supposed to take care of them and advise them and show them how things are supposed to be done. And since they're kids, they don't really want to listen to a, an old bird trying to tell them what to do or what, what the good thing to do or the bad thing to do is. And of course, he gets you know, in trouble himself. Mm -hmm. 